Oh, I just can't wait. This is worth everything that I'm going through. To stand in this battle and to push it through right to the end. I refuse to give in. I refuse to be discouraged. This is a battle that God has given me, a victory, and he's pointed to the, the prize at the end of it. And it's worth everything to press through. And he drew his strength from God, didn't he? Joy and peace and patience, that, that sense of endurance, of never giving up. I'll tell you, you may be the weakest saint here, but God can put that quality in your heart where you will never, ever give in to the whisperings of the devil in your heart. May God just help us and strengthen us and gird us. I don't believe this is just a pep rally. You know, many times you go to a, you go to a, a, one of these seminars and that's, that's what it is. It's getting everybody all hyped up with, you know, with, a, with testimonies and this and that and the other. Look what you can do if you just, I'll tell you, I am as weak as, as anybody here. But I have a great God. I have his promises. I have his plans. It's not mine that are at issue here. It's his plans. And he has promised never to leave me, never to forsake me, just like he did Joshua. Praise God. Patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. That's not, that's, again, that's never, never changing your loyalties. That's giving, that's serving God, period. In the darkest hour, you look at the devil in the eye and say, devil, I'm, I don't care what it looks like or what it feels like or what you're screaming in my face. God is on the throne. I'm going through. You're just going to have to give way. Gentleness and self-control. And where does all that come from? It comes from God. You know, the scripture was read, I think, Wednesday night in, in uh, Hebrews 12 that I, I quote a little bit from. Where it spoke of, of uh, you have not yet resisted under blood, striving against sin. Jesus did, didn't he? Yes. The power of sin would have ruined him, would have controlled him if he had ever yielded to it. And yet he was the sinless, spotless lamb of God. He never, he never once yielded his vessel to that awful power that holds men captive in this world. And because he was willing to trust God and, and in his, God's strength to go through the cross... He laid down his life. I'll tell you, that strength that was in him is available to us. And we need to stand fast. I'll just read a couple of scriptures here. That, I mean, this is, this is in the Bible from one end to the other. But talking about the end of the story, uh, look at the end of 1 Corinthians 15. <clears throat> because this is talking about the, the glorious thing that we're looking forward to. Listen in verse 51. I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep. That is, we won't all die. But we will all be changed. Boy, I'm looking for that. Yeah. You know, we're talking about all the, all the ills that befall different ones. They've got a broken this and a sick that. And, you know, and, and bless her heart and Mary looking at a possible shoulder replacement. I'm looking at a whole body replacement, thank you. <laughs> It just all needs to be changed. It's all getting older. But thank God for his promise. No matter what it looks like or feels like down here, we can always look past that, if we will. In a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound. That sounds pretty positive to me. The dead will be raised imperishable and we will be changed. Those are statements of fact that we can reckon on. For the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality. And you know, I won't go through all that verse, but when all that happens, it says death. The saying will be, that's written will come true. Death has swallowed, been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your victory? Where, O oh, death, is your sting? It's screaming in our face right now saying, I'm going to beat you. But God says, no, it's not. The sting of death is sin. The power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, in view of the fact that God has given us victory, why should we accept defeat? What he's saying. Therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Let's read another scripture that we often read at funerals. And uh, it's true all the time in, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. 
Because here he's talking about the ultimate enemy that men face, death itself. Brothers, we do not want you to be ignorant about those who fall asleep or to grieve like the rest of men who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's own word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left till the coming of the Lord will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, with a trumpet call of God, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Man, that's going to be an awesome sight. Oh, Lord, when it dawns on us that that's actually happening, how are you going to feel then? You think you'll have enough your courage and your sense of victory is going to be there? Oh, wow. We're going to look back on our battles and say, why did I doubt God? Why did I give in? Why did I struggle so that I needed to lift my heart to, to God and to know that he was in charge? After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so, will, so we will be with the Lord forever. Now, what does he say after that? Therefore, encourage each other with these words. Encourage. You know, that's a, that's a great privilege that we have. God has not called us to walk alone. We're called to walk with each other. The Lord's wise enough to know that the best of us struggle. The best of us have times of great discouragement. That's not, there's no condemnation in that. But God wants to lift us out and give us a hope. And so that we, we come together and we lift up the Lord and we encourage each other and we testify to the God's faithfulness. And the one who's in that pit of discouragement is able to look up and say, yes, God, you're still on the throne. I'm trusting in you. You know, like the song we sing, we will cry victory in the face of every foe. Thank God for that. That's a wonderful song, isn't it? Praise God. But you know, there's, there's a little statement there, we will. It's kind of something that God puts, gives us the privilege of doing, but we have to do it. There's a, there's, a, there's a joining of our will with the purpose and the plan and the faithfulness of our God. And when we stand in that, in that way, God will bring us through. It ain't going to feel like it many times. There's times of pain. There's times of discouragement. There's times of seeming hopelessness, hopeless situations, but nothing is hopeless. How would you like to be in a situation the uh, three Hebrew children were in? You're, you're all tied up and they've, they've heated the furnace seven times hotter than usual and they're about to throw you in. That sounds like a pretty dire situation. It kind of turned out okay, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, how God has witnessed to us over and over again. Nothing. There's no possible way the devil can, can win against the children of God. Even if, they, even if they did die, they'd still be okay. You know, if we die, we're with the Lord. If we live, we get to live for him here. Either way, we're the Lord's. And I'll tell you, this battle is not going to be forever, is it? No. But as long as it is, God will never leave you and he will never forsake you. Don't you doubt for one second God's love for you this day, whatever's going on in your life. You take courage. Yes. You look the devil in the eye and say, my God reigns yes. and I'm trusting in him. And he who has never lost a battle will bring me through safely to the end. Praise God.